All right, who likes vectors? It's my favorite cereal. What's the area of the parallelogram bounded by these two vectors? Well, if you're ever asked for the area of a parallelogram and you're given vectors, all you need to know is that the area of that parallelogram is equal to the magnitude of the cross product between them. If you want that in math speak, the area of the parallelogram is equal to the magnitude of the cross product between the two. So, all we gotta do, one, find the cross product, two, find the magnitude, done. How do you find the cross product between two vectors? Well, I got my own little method that I like to use. Seven, three, minus four, seven, three, minus four, one, zero, six, one, zero, six. See, I just wrote out the first vector twice and the second vector twice. Then, to find the actual cross product, 18 minus 0, negative 4 minus 42, 3 minus 0. Sweet. So, there's my, uh, my cross product. Now all I need to do is find the magnitude of it. You guys remember how to do that? It's the square root of each of those components squared. Components may not have been the word I was looking for, but whatever. Sue me. 18 squared plus negative 46 squared plus 3 squared. Then you take the square root of all that. Here's a calculator. Can you see what I'm typing? Yes, you can. 18 squared plus 46 squared plus 3 squared. 24, 49. Take the square root of that. 49 point. Five. And that's the area of the parallelogram. It's as easy as that. Find the cross product, find the magnitude, done.